Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to use the free Jing tool, which works both on a Mac and on a PC, to take a screenshot of your Market Samurai result and post them into the forum at 30 Day Challenge. This seems to be a common question that people are asking and as it's something that's quite important that you need to be able to do, I thought it was something worth covering. Now, I'm already set up here, I've installed Jing and I've made myself a Jing user account which gives me space on their online gallery. All these things are ready to go. So I'm not going to cover that. That's not really, the, this isn't really the place for that. But what I am going to cover is everything from taking the screenshot right the way to getting your forum post complete. So I'm going to start Jing. Now I have Jing set up as a menu item which is up here. Um, it also comes as something that sits in the corner of your screen as a little sun or you can use a keyboard shortcut to start it. Either way once you put it in capture mode, so I'm going to click capture, you get these crosshairs. Now you'll see the window goes yellow as I go over it and the background grays out. That's the whole program. If you just click now, it'll take a picture of the whole program window. We don't want that. Remember, we want just this results matrix down here. So what I can do now is using the crosshairs, I can start top left and drag top left to bottom right. Once I'm happy with that, if I let go, I get my little toolbar at the bottom of my capture area. This gives me options for image, video, redo, or cancel. So if you made a mistake, don't panic, just hit redo or cancel and start the capture again. I'm pretty happy with the capture that I've made, so I'm going to punch the image button because I just want to snap an image. I press that and the interface changes, I get lots of options. The ones we're interested in are at the bottom, specifically I want to send to screencast.com as a URL. Now, don't worry about what that means if you don't understand it, but basically, in simple terms, it's going to push the image up onto the web, put it somewhere where we can get at it, and give it an address, and it's that address that's the important part of this process, because we're going to use that address later on to post this image back into the forums. So, I'm going to just click the, the button here with the three arrows on, and I should get a status window in a moment that says I'm uploading. There we go. Woof, it was gone. And the URL for your capture has been pasted to the clipboard, it says. OK. Sounds a bit technical. All that means is where your picture is is now on the clipboard. So if I switch across to Safari and open a new window and blank out the address in the address bar and put what is on the clipboard which is um, control V on the keyboard on a PC or command V on a Mac or edit and paste from the edit menu it doesn't really matter bop this nice little thing appears in my URL press return my address sorry and bash so that's showing me that on the website screencast.com, which is this online gallery for Jing, there's my picture. The important bit here is we actually need the address of the picture itself if we want it to appear in the forum post, Okay, which is the best way to do it. Um, so what we're going to do is grab the address of the picture. This is a standard trick for using internet browsers and finding addresses of pictures. If I point at the picture and right click um, or on a Mac you may need to hold down the control button and click to bring up the menu and what we need is copy link um, on a flock browser you may find that that says copy link location but basically what we want to do is copy the address of this picture copy okay that's now on the clipboard all right what we're going to do now is go to the 30 day challenge forum, create our post and use that address that's on the clipboard. 
If anything goes wrong, by the way, don't panic. If you keep this window open and open the forums in another window, we can always come back and recapture that address. But for now, over to the 30 day challenge forums. Importantly, you'll notice it recognizes me. I've logged into the forums. I can't make a post without logging in. Make sure you're logged into the forums. I'm going to make a test post, but you may want to post your SEO results into the general chat area, which is where most people are putting them right now. I'm just going to make a test post to prove a point. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to the test board and I'm going to create new thread, this button at the top here, post a new thread, title, obviously I'm going to say testing image attachment, something that I'm doing, okay, obviously you would use a sensible title like please review my SEO results from Market Samurai, feedback required, put a big smiley on it so people think you're friendly, okay, in the body of this document in the forum post it's very 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 important Ed and the team have asked that you do put your own assessment of these figures if you don't put your own assessment of the figures then it's not fair to ask someone else to assess it and give you their feedback so please make sure that you include some text that says what your assessment of these figures are please write something sensible don't copy me I think that I could reach uh, position two because it has little or no on page SEO. Okay, if that doesn't mean anything to you, that's okay. That's one of the reasons you're posting on the forum to ask people, but try and have a go. Try and look, as Ed says, green is good. Look for the green. Just see what you think. Anything that you can put down is that are your thoughts about this will get you somebody giving you some sensible feedback. When you've written that text, or you can always go back and write it later after you've posted your image, we need to do inserting of an image into this. For that, here's this very helpfully designed icon, which is the insert image icon. I've put my cursor on a new line, point at the insert image icon, click on it, it asks me for the URL of your image. That's the address on the web of the image. All we need to do is paste what's on our clipboard. Okay. Now I'm going to use the, the command V on the Mac and paste it. Very, 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 very important. This is expecting an image. So at the end of the thing you've pasted in, it must have something that looks like this some random number followed by dot png wherever your image is coming from whether you're using another site another gallery or whatever if you're posting a link it must be a valid image link okay if it's not go back grab the address again make sure it's the address of the picture right click on the picture basically and do copy link when you've got that click ok and you'll see we have the following text is inserted into our post it's got a little IMG at the start and a slash IMG at the end, just an instruction to the forum that says there should be an image here. Okay, now that looks a bit freaky if you've not seen things like this before, but trust me, and to prove a point, what I'm going to do is preview my post. It's button down here at the bottom underneath the text box. Click that, and what we should see is a preview of my post, and that is it's got the title, it's got the text I wrote, and look, there's my picture. Okay, it's gone away, got that picture, put it in the post. Okay, so here's your chance. You can scroll down, you can edit things, you can add love and kisses, etc., 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 on the bottom. Um, and finally, submit new thread. And there you go. Your new thread will appear in whatever part of the forum that you've asked for, and people can view it and respond to it. So, it's that simple, as I like to say. <laughs> okay, give it a go, and just remember the important steps are snap the image, upload it to the gallery, look at the pic picture in the gallery, make sure you copy the address of the picture, insert the picture into the forum post, and make sure 
that you have this image on the end and then don't forget to preview the post just make sure it all looks the way it should before you do submit your thread away you go